So for today, we're going to be looking at the new Eververse sets that we got this season. We're going to be looking at the Prowler set, the Godsbane set, and the Ancestral set. These are super, super cool. I really, really like them. But we're going to be looking at how they look, how they shader, and some personal thoughts. Not only that, we're going to be looking at some cool interactions that this has as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Hunters, Titans, and then Warlock. I think Hunters looks really cool. I really, really like a lot of the pieces. I think the boots are probably the best piece from the whole set just because there's so much going in there. Um, the chest piece is decent. It's not bad. I just think uh, it looks kind of boring compared to the other pieces because specifically the arms, super fucking cool. They're not, they're not symmetrical, but at least they have armor on both sides, which I appreciate. Helmet also really cool. The only unfortunate part is that glow on the left side is very hard to turn off. If not, the most of the shaders will not turn it off. If you guys do find a shader that turns it off, let me know in the comments below. But overall, I think the helmet is cool, especially if you get a shader that does turn off the glow, then it'll look really, really cool. The cloak is probably the best and the worst piece from the set, aside from the boots. And the simple fact is the actual cloak not the trim of the cloak like like the red and blue but the actual like leather part in the back uh changes colors very very annoyingly so certain shaders will actually change the color of the cloak and other shaders will just revert it to brown a lot of brown a lot of off brown a lot of just different browns um which is really annoying because sometimes i really want like just a rich black and i don't think a shader turns it into a rich black so we will be making a video of just going through all of the shaders for all of these armor sets uh probably later in probably later this week just because uh those videos are kind of annoying to make but we will do that this week hopefully so that way you guys can see all the shaders that go with it because i usually only show like four or five colors here but yeah hunters i think the set looks fine i think it looks really really good titans i think you guys lost uh your armor set is not as good as the others and it's very unfortunate because Kratos armor could have been really, really good. And I just don't think a lot of these pieces are good. So let's start off with the good. I think the boots are fucking amazing. I love the boots. You're definitely going to combine this with other pieces. For me, I've been using the Iron Forerunner Mark with the boots just because, uh, as you guys can see from the set, there is armor on the right side, but there is no armor on the left side. So you're going to want to use marks that cover up the left leg and it's going to look really, really cool. Speaking of Mark, I think the Mark is decent. It's fine. Like it's really cool. The only annoyance I have with it is the middle dick cloth uh, doesn't shader well, like at all. Uh, you're going to fight it a lot. So just be aware of that. And I think the chest piece actually decent as well. Uh, very, very decent. You can definitely combine this with the Fortnite armor helmet and it's going to look fucking cool. The bad pieces, I would say, is the helmet and the arms. And it's not even for the reason you might think. I, I know people might think, oh, it's because of the glow. I don't actually mind the glow because you, you might actually not know this, but the red on the helmet and the chest piece, technically, because it's in the back as well, and the arms, that's actually a glow. It's not armor color. It's not like specifically like that. It's literally a glow. So you could turn this off or you can use certain shaders like the rgb one and you'll actually have an rgb kratos which is really funny uh, my annoyance with it it's just the design of it i guess it just doesn't look good design wise i think the like the sharp uh pauldrons just look weird very weird and the helmet doesn't look good in my opinion i'm not the biggest fan of it i think utilizing the tattoo is not only smart but you kind of it's to be expected but I think they didn't utilize the tattoo well, um, just because the arms, you don't see a lot of it in the arms. Honestly, if it were up to me, I would most likely do. Actually, I have to show you in game what I'm going to about to talk about. So this is my Titan. This is my Viking look. And obviously, you guys can see that I'm using the uh, the boots. But let me see real quick. Uh, so this is my Titan. You guys can see, obviously, I'm using the boots for the for the set i think it just looks really really good but i think they should have done this and i don't know why they don't do this but eternal warrior is a good example of what i think bungie should do with sets like this so if we go to the female one it has a female face if you see the main one it's a male face so i think they should have just given you like 
a like an old school Greek statue look and then just have that tattoo on that actual face and then um yeah just make it a little bit more stylized that's like really it that's like my biggest problem with a lot of armor in the game where it's like this should have just been like the human body stylized in like armor the other set that i can think of which is for the hunters is gonna be the assassin's creed set i think they should have gotten a stylized human body kind of thing for the spartan look i just think it was kind of dumb not to do that so as much as i do like god of war and i'm a big fan i've been following them since the first games this set is just not good in my opinion um it just doesn't it doesn't scream god of war it just screams um vikingish armor with with Cro with a uh, fucking kratos's tattoo that's really it i think uh it needed a little bit more kratos armor but unfortunately i don't i just don't think it's good the warlocks however i think is a banger aside from the helmet i think the helmet is goofy as fuck um whoever thought about the eye thing the cyclops eye i why like just just why i don't like it at all it's pretty terrible i would have probably just done again a stylized face for female and male and then have just the eyes actually glow so that way it actually looks like a statue instead of just a cyclops because i think the cyclops just looks super fucking goofy so at this point i yeah i would have just done like a female look and a male look so that way obviously if you're different genders you would choose the one you are and then that at that point you'd be like if i for example i play a, a female warlock i would have a female face with the mask there and then the eyes would actually be glowing i think that would that would have been such a better outcome because the helmet looks goofy as a motherfucker uh the chest piece is super fucking cool arms boots everything about this set is super fucking cool except the helmet i think the helmet is goofy as fuck and again i do apologize to whoever designed it but it is what it is bro it just looks goofy so yeah let me know what you guys think as for how it shaders So as you guys can see from the shader it shaders really well i really really like how all of it does shader the only thing that i will tell you is the really cool interaction that the bond has for the warlocks if you put shade and slate on it it actually just turns it off completely i've made a set with the npa set it, actually i don't think that video is out yet so i'll just show you guys right here on a picture though so that way so that way you guys understand what i'm talking about for the titans it also does turn off the glow on the the tattoo which is really cool and unfortunately for the hunters you guys can still see an outline of that glow it's very minimal so if you want to turn it off you can do that but it is unfortunate overall i really 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 like some of these pieces especially for the hunters and warlocks specifically warlocks i think got the best pieces aside from the helmet 
the hunters would be next and then the the titans would be last just because again um i don't think the helmet's good i don't think the arms are good but everything else is decent um specifically the chest piece and the boots are i think are fucking phenomenal and the mark is like decent like you can definitely make it work but then when you get to the arms and the helmet you're just like ugh, whatever and then warlocks bro like again everything from the helm from the head down amazing helmet goofy as fuck and then hunters i think i think damn near everything is actually really really good i think my only issue is the fact that the hunters didn't get the samurai set because i feel like that would have been thematically a lot better and then the warlocks i feel should have gotten the uh i need i and before people tell me no it's because alloy's a hunter i get it bro I, i'm not saying i don't get it it's just me personally samurai set for the hunters just would have been way better but again i'm happy with the armor set that i got because it looks good so i'm happy about that if it didn't look good best believe i'd be bitching hard right now so let me know what you guys think appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later